For this first video I'm going to use the Walmart website as an example. There are several problems I found when using this uh, site as a screen read user or as a keyboard user which I'm just going to highlight very quickly for you now. So at the moment the very top right link, my list, is selected. As I press tab, tab see all departments visited link. I jump to the sealed departments link. That's read out to me but there is no visual indicator so as a keyboard user who's sighted I would not know that that was the currently selected link. If I press tab again, tab, left parent zero, right parent visited link. That jumps to the My Cart button there. Now notice that that skips over the search uh, drop down box, the search edit box, and the search go button and jumps straight to the My Cart button. Not only that, but it's actually read the button out as bracket zero bracket. That is because the My Cart text, although coded in OK, is not coded as part of the link. So as I press tab, JAWS is just reading out the link text to me bracket zero bracket. Obviously that doesn't make much sense if I read it out of context so it's not actually very useful to me as a screen read user. The fact that I've skipped straight over the search button is confusing uh, certainly as a keyboard user because I can see where I should be on the screen uh, or I would be able to if there's a visual focus indicator however it'd be confusing the fact that the focus is jumping from one side of the page to the other and actually missing items out. If I press tab again tab, college 2011 link. Notice that's jumped down to the College 2011 link, that's at the bottom left of the screen. Again, there is no visual indicator that that's what I've jumped to. Notice also that I've actually skipped straight over the left-hand navigation bar. If I just use the mouse to hover over some of that, you can see that I get a lot of fly-out menus allowing me to dive straight into other areas of the site. And that's as a mouse user. However, as the keyboard user, I actually don't have access to any of those links. This is because of the way they're coded up using JavaScript and they're not coded to be accessible. And whilst that is possible, it just hasn't been done in this case. If I press tab again. Tab, 97 cents shipping to your home on all laptops link. Tab, air conditioners from $159 link. Tab, graduation cards from 28 cents link. You can see that I'm just skipping through the links on the left hand side. Again, you will be able to see which link was selected if there is any sort of focus indicator, which is normally just a dotted outline showing you which is the current link. Because I'm using the JAWS software in conjunction with uh, having the screen visible, it's not too difficult to follow around the page. But as a sighted keyboard user who might not be using the JAWS software, uh, this would be a whole different ballgame and the website would be next to impossible to browse. As a final thing, I'm just going to use JAWS to show a list of headings on the page. So I can do that by pressing INS F6. Heading list dialog. Headings list view. OK, so the headings list just shows me both the headings on a page. Great gifts for grads, a new price on Nintendo DS. So if I have a look around the page, we'll just find out where those links are. Blank. Or those headings, sorry. So there they are. Great gifts for grads, a new price on Nintendo DS, halfway down the page. Now if I look at the page, I can see several other things that would be usefully coded as headings. Perhaps sealed departments on the left there. Um, save big now, what's new. Special gifts for extraordinary dads. More great ways to save. So, and that's just on the home page. If I go onto other pages of the site, there's likely to be a lot more examples of, of other headings. Headings are particularly useful for screen read users, again, because they allow them to get a, an overall picture of the site just from skipping through the headings on a web page. So that's some examples of, of what not to do with regards to accessibility. I'm just going to have a look at another website. Address and search using J O H N Lewis H T T P Enter. John Lewis Vertical Bar for the John. Okay, so I've jumped to the John Lewis website now. I'm just going to start tabbing through the page, and we'll just have a look at some of the um, issues that were present on the Walmart website, and which might not be present here. Tab. Skip the main content. Same page link. Okay, so one of the first things I've noticed, there's a skip to main content link. That's something that a keyboard user could access and allow them to skip past all the navigation that's present on every page and get straight to the actual content on a web page. Without that link being present, a keyboard user would likely have to tap through the top navigation on every single page they visited, which obviously can be a bit time consuming and a bit of a pain if you're a keyboard user. Tab, skip to accessibility help link. Tab, John Lewis insurance link. Tab, what's new link? Tab, our shop's link. So as I'm tapping around, you can actually see the links that are selected. They've got, got a dotted board around them. They've got a changed background colour as well. So the current link is our shops. And that's actually very useful as a keyboard user. Uh, I don't need to have the draw screen reader user, uh, draw screen reader software running in the background. And it's quite easy for me to follow on the screen which link is the current one. So if I press enter, I know I'm going to be taken to the our shops section. Tab, gift list link. Tab, your orders link. Tab, help link. Tab, search edit. Tab, submit button button. Tab, home and garden link. 
Tab, electricals link. Tab, women link. So again, as I'm tabbing around the page, there's a very clear indicator of the uh, the current links and which ones I'm selecting as I tab through the page. So that's in stark contrast to the Walmart website, which is effectively unusable to any keyboard users. And the John Lewis website is an example of, of how you can use CSS just to make the site that much easier for anyone who's using a keyboard to access it.